You know me, I'm a big nut job when it comes to organization, productivity, little systems that help me be more effective in my day to day. It's a beautiful day to be alive, and today I am gonna show you how I use the Ugg Monk Analog. Yes, that little $100 block of wood that basically holds note cards. Now they have a whole suggested and recommended way to use this system, which I've pretty much thrown out the window. And so in this video, I wanna show you my better and more simplified system of using the analog so that if you are wanting to get way more intentional and structured with your daily tasks so that you can have and create more time in your life, well then this video is for you. First, let me go ahead and show you what would come in the box if you were to purchase the analog. You get this fancy block of wood, which you know what, I actually think it looks rather nice on my desk. I'm a fan, for sure. Along with that, you're gonna get a packet of cards. And those cards are separated into three types. You have a today card, which basically is your daily task list. You have a next card, which is supposed to be a list of any task that would be spillover. So if you accomplish all the tasks in your today card, you would go on to this next card to pull a task from there. And then you have a Sunday card, which well would be a backup of your next backup, which would be a task that you someday want to do. The way that this generally works is, in any given day, you write down a number of tasks that you would want to go through and accomplish, and as you accomplish them, you would fill in the little bubble. The analog also gives you a nice little feature, which I do like, where you could fill in, say, half of the bubble if you didn't, say, accomplish a given task, you know, to its very end. Maybe you just got halfway or some progress done on that task. At the end of the day or at the beginning of a new day, you would take the card you just completed, put it at the bottom of the pile, and pull a new card from the top, fill it in, and then your day is off and running. And that is basically how their recommended system works. Now let me go ahead and show you the way that I use the analog, which I would say is arguably better. You be the judge and let me know what you think in the comments below if you think like, yeah, that's way better, or you have a system of your own should you actually use this tool. First, a couple things. The someday, and next cards, they, they, I don't use them at all. I, I've never used them. I don't find a whole ton of use of them. I'm pulling them completely out of the deck. That's one thing that I've found that, you know what, good intentions by their suggested use, but I don't find super valuable. If I'm gonna accomplish something in my given day, I'm super focused on what I actually want to do, and ultimately that's gonna prevent any sort of spillover. Plus, I've got my magic whiteboard right over here to my left, link above as well, so that will help me understand if there's anything that I need to pull down because I finish everything, well then, boom, I've got that covered. The next thing is they recommend that you put all of the cards below, all the cards that you filled out at the bottom. I think that is a poor waste of space. Get these cards out of here so that I can actually create more room and I can see very clearly how many more cards that I have left to fill out, also making it far more easy to pull a fresh card out for the day. And that is part one of how I use this system that is very different from their suggested use. Second, whenever I fill out a daily card, what I do is I like to draw a line to separate the top three tasks from the bottom seven. And taking inspiration from the book called Make Time, what I've chosen to do is actually create the top three tasks as my highlight task or tasks of the J. Generally, I try to keep only one or two of my highlight tasks, and then anything below I would put as just my, if I can get to this once my highlight tasks have been complete, awesome. But I like to make sure that whatever I'm focused on during the day in these top three lines, in these top three tasks, are ones that I make sure that I'm able to do without fail. And so that I always know, like I'm coming into my office or I'm like, you know, coming back from lunch and I'm looking at those tasks, I'm always ensuring to cross those out first and foremost. 
With the bottom section, those seven lines, typically what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just add two, three, sometimes four things, but I always like to leave a little bit of space at the bottom because you can be sure that as you're going throughout your day, as I've gone throughout my day, these little tasks also creep up. So I use those lower lines as little reminders. So if you know it's in the afternoon, I'm like, oh, I gotta remember to call so-and-so. I'll just write that down on my list on that same card so that I have that visual reminder. And if I need to actually use that and move it to the next day, Again, I have that visual clue so that I'm able to do so. Now that was short, sweet, and simple because, well, this tool is short, sweet, and simple. And so I'm curious, what do you think about this, well, rather simplified way to use this nice little task manager, the analog, so that you can actually focus on the things that are important for you, important for your life, your business, what have you, instead of just a bunch of random tasks. For me, I love it. I'm using it and I highly encourage that you do too. If you like this video, you definitely want to check out my magic whiteboard video. I will link it right here. That thing saved my life and it works so well with this analog system. So I highly encourage you to do so. And with that, I'm out and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Okay, I totally made a mess in my office now. <laughs> but honestly, all, all jokes aside, yes, this thing, a hundred dollars, actually a hundred dollars, a little bit more. And then these little card packets that you can subscribe and order more a hundred bucks for this thing. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but like genius, like I paid a hundred dollars for a block of wood and some note cards and I actually enjoy it. Like. If this isn't a Shark Tank idea, I don't know what it is. All right, what can I do with a block of wood next? Charge $100 for it. You tell me in the comments below. I'm open to ideas. <laughs> I'm gonna go clean up this mess.